In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the Creative Fabrica font cloud uh, as your character map for your glyphs and extras for your fonts, and also talk about a few other things that I really love about it. So first I'm going to go to creativefabrica.com. You do need an account here, but it's free, so no big deal there. So what I'm going to do is go to the 300 days of freebies. They give out a free font or um, graphic every day for 300 days. You do need an account. You just sign in and then you can come here. You can only download the free thing for one day. So I'm going to click download. It's going to come up. I'm using Firefox so you'll be able to see it here. And then what you'll do is go here to tools and click it and it will say open font cloud and you can just click open font cloud right here. I already have mine open so I'm just going to go to that tab. What I'm going to do is click on my font and that I downloaded and I'm going to extract my files. I'm going to then install my font and I'm going to, I drag it and drop it. Um, oh, I already have this font. So <laughs> that's okay. We'll just um, drag it and drop it and you'll see You'll see it upload. You can also go to browse files and search through all your files, but I definitely prefer the drag and drop. Um, this comes up because I already have it, so I can, um, I'm just going to cancel this, but it will come up and it will go, it will load it right up here and it will go to the font you just downloaded. You can also drag and drop several fonts at a time, so if you get a font that has, uh, you know, a bold and a light or a thin, you can drag all, drag and drop, select and drag and drop all three fonts at the same time. So that's how you upload. So I'm just going to talk about a few other things quickly. Right over here, you get two gigabytes of free space. You can get more, but so far I don't need it. Uh, I have 325 megabytes. I have tons of fonts. This is hundreds of fonts I already have uploaded and I'm, on, I'm not even at a gig. So lots and lots of space, which is really awesome. If something were to happen to your computer, uh, you can download the font from here. And then my favorite thing about this is this will, you type in your phrase or your words and then you can scroll down and it's going to show you what it looks like in every font that you have uploaded here. Not on your system, but what you have uploaded here. So that is one of my favorite font th things about this. So I'm going to go over here and I'm going to show you um, the Samantha font and how to access the glyphs and use it as your character map. And see right over here, it says download font. You can go right in here if something happens to your computer and download it, which is awesome. So I'm going to go to my design space first. I'm going to select my text and I'm just going to type in a word. I'm going to use something with an A so that we can find our glyph really easily. And I'm going to make sure that I have Samantha Upright selected as my font. If you don't, you're going to get um, a weird little character or like with a diamond with a question mark or something similar to that. That means you don't have the right font selected when you try and add in the glyph. I've done that several times and it does take me a minute to figure out what I did wrong, but you'll get it. I'm going to make it bigger just to make it easier for you guys to see. I'm going to go back to my font cloud and I'm, one of my favorite things about this too that I like over other character maps, I can zoom in here with this little plus sign and minus sign, it can zoom out. And it just makes it so much easier, especially the Samantha font, because it has so many glyphs in it and extra swirly letters that it makes it so much easier to see them because it's zoomed out. So I'm just going to select this A and you're going to notice right up here, it's going to say copy to clipboard. So I clicked on it and it says character copy to clipboard. I'm going to go over here, select my font, and I'm going to erase this A. And then I'm going to use control V and I'm going to paste in my glyph and it's going to take a second. You can see here it looks kind of weird because it's a character, but the correct letter will show up here. You can also use this in Inkscape. I've done that before. So it's great for other programs and I'm not positive because I don't have a Mac, but 
I would definitely try it out on a Mac and let me know if you do and if the Creative Fabric of Font Cloud works for you. Uh, that is something I've been dying to know, but I don't really know anyone with a Mac. So if you do use it there, that's great because I know a lot of programs that have the character maps don't work for Mac. So this would be great to let anybody who does have a Mac who's looking for a program and struggling with that to know. So if you do, Mac users, let me know. So this is my internet. This is not great this morning, and I think my son is playing, so we're struggling. But that A will come up in a minute, hopefully, and you'll see how easy it is to... Here we go. See? And now it's perfect. And now, for those of you who hate that letter space, we'll just do it down, and, um, and then if you have to ungroup and move it... Uh, Samantha Fott, that's why I love you. It goes together so well. And just click weld, and we have one piece using our glyphs, and that's it. Hope you enjoyed my video.